the shot. Single leg switch off to a double leg. And Hoffman gets his two points. Trying to latch onto that left arm. He's got it. Let's see what he can do with it. Sees that he's pretty close to the out of bounds line. If he tries to walk around the head, he would end up out of bounds. Minute eight to go here in the first period. Jumps back on the other side to maybe try and drive Trujillo back in, but no, they go out of bounds. The official really slow to call that uh, out of bounds. <laughs> Off the jump clear out of bounds and over the top, he just stood there and let the clock run. <laughs> Often gives the free escape so they'll start on their feet. Well, that's something I've seen Windsor do. Every time I've seen Windsor wrestle this year, they've never ridden. Here is uh, Hoffman again on a shot, single leg to a double, and gets his two. He goes up by a score of four to one. 40 seconds to go in the first period. Brandon Hoffman leads by a score of four to one. Trying to move around. Let's see if we can find match number 71. That's going on over on the black mat five. That would be the potential opponent for Brandon Hoffman. Does look like Orlando Lopez from Roosevelt leading in that one. Lopez has his opponent on his back. Yeah, this is a cheap tilt too that we just seen in Derek Gray's match. Yeah, uh, Brandon Hoffman has that left arm. Nope, he just stacked up. He just drove. For heel right over the top. He's got a double arm bar yep. locked up on him. And yep. there is the pin called. One minute and 45 seconds, the pin time for Brandon Hoffman. He'll move out and wrestle in the championship. Well, that should set us up to have Luke Kingle hop out. Well, they, they did say Pueblo County next available. Oh, 